good morning. Uh, it's a nice early on a Saturday morning, May 29th. I'm Mark Geron. I'm a park slash area technician with the Ministry of Natural Resources here in Timmins. And uh, today we're out uh, looking at the program Trees for Canada. The reason we're here at the provincial park sign right now is the boys have been in the park last night camping. It was a chilly evening. I went down probably to uh, zero, minus one, somewhere around that area. And uh, we're going to go see how the boys are doing before they head off to go plant trees for Trees for Canada. Another reason that we're here at the park sign is that this year is the 100th anniversary of provincial parks. So uh, the people here at the park will be celebrating all year long of the park centennial, the 100th anniversary. And that was starting with Algonquin Provincial Park was established uh, 100 years ago. So uh, hopefully today we'll warm up a little bit and uh, we'll have a gorgeous day for planting and the sun is out but it is definitely a cool wind. So uh, let's go and see how the boys are doing and how they survive their night before they head off to go plant trees today. Let's go. The day starts with Ralph Jenkins, the Porcupine District District Commissioner, uh, with a ceremony and a horseshoe. Uh, can you tell us more about that, please, Ralph? We're having the opening ceremonies at this point. At the beginning of all our days, we have flag break, and because we're in the country of Canada, we have the Canadian flag flying with Scouts Canada flag right underneath it. The morning devotions are also said, which is our spiritual time of reflection for, to start us off on the right foot on the day. We also give out the guidelines and instructions for everybody for the rest of the camping trip. And we're also going over the inspection that we had earlier just before we had the flag break. All the tents and sites were inspected for cleanliness and organization skills. Okay, well it sounds like you uh, have a quite a nice setup here, Ralph. Uh, maybe you can just tell us a little bit more about uh, the Trees for Canada program uh, nationally and how that's evolved and how uh, your group fits into this. Since 1972, Scouts Canada nationally has been planting over 40 million trees and locally we've been nearly planting 100,000 trees. This weekend we're going to be planting 7,400 trees of various species. Uh, we're spending the full weekend, or the Scouts will be spending the full weekend out here camping and then we get the younger age level, the beavers, and comes out just for the day itself. And then we'll have lunch for them after they finish planting the trees. Well, that's super, Ralph. That's very impressive. 40 million trees that the Scouts have planted across Canada. That's a, a great number. Okay, so uh, I guess it's off to the site. Okay. We shall go see how they're getting along. Okay. Okay, good morning. We're here now uh, with uh, Matt Hollins. He's a forester with the Ministry of Natural Resources and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about the site and uh, what we've done here to prepare the site for the planting. So uh, I'll leave it with you, Matt. Okay. Thanks a lot, Mark. Uh, this is a one hectare clear cut site in Macklem Township, as Mark described. It was cut in 1991 uh, using chainsaws and uh, skidders were used to pull the wood to roadside. In the winter of 1992, it was shear bladed with bulldozers to uh, create the uh, furrows we see and, and to remove the brush from the site so the trees could be planted easier. We'll be planting jack pine, and the jack pine is uh, well suited to this site because it's uh, a sandy soil, well drained, and uh, the jack pine performs quite well on these sites. I'll uh, hand it over now to Rob Grant to explain how these trees will be planted.
Okay, we're here with uh, Rob Grant. He's a senior area technician for the Porcupine area, and he's going to be uh, explaining and getting the guy started. Go ahead, Rob. Okay, the first thing I'd like to say is we did a quality check of last year's plant, and unfortunately it didn't turn out too good. Most of the problems was close planting. So in this area here, try to make sure you put your uh, plant, planted trees approximately 1.8 meters apart. That's about 8 feet. That should be roughly two lengths of your shovel. And to uh, get the distance for your shovel, when you go forward, you planted a tree here. Put your shovel down like that. Just walk forward, stand in front of your shovel, plant in front of your feet. That'll give you the approximate distance. Now to plant the trees, here we're going to use a L cut. One goes straight down, one comes in from the side, press your shovel down, twist it, put the tree in, tree's planted, press on both sides, there's your tree. The other thing, when you take your trees out of the uh, trays, put them in your bucket sideways. This will stop your trees tops from getting broken and they're easier to grab. You can grab them right out by the paper pot. If you have them up straight you may end up breaking the tops off. Also when you're planting make sure this little paper pot is completely covered by ground and dirt because if it doesn't what happens is the sun dries this out and the moisture in the, in the bottom comes up through the top and evaporates and then your tree roots will be dry. Okay. Now what I'd like to have happen is here is I'd like to have the leaders, instead of doing any planting, check how your cubs are doing, our beavers are doing, making sure that they're planting properly, just going through your group. Rather than doing any actual planting yourself, making sure the area is covered. Okay? If you have any problems, give me a shout and I'll come on over. We'll get you started. Right now I'd like you just to line up in front of the corridors, right along the road. Put your shovels and pails and trees. And we'll start you off that way and we'll go straight in on mass. One big group. Okay? Everybody grab a shovel and a pail. Can we get them in the other Maybe right here would be a better spot, right in here. See there's a nice nice soil right there. Can I ask you guys what your names are? Stephen Brownhill. Yeah, and how about you? Brett May. Yeah, have you guys done this before? Yeah. Yeah. When we went last year? Mm -hmm. I've done it for the last three or four years. Three or four years, eh? Yeah. Are you enjoying yourselves? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, go ahead and plant the way there, guys. Stephen, you're on TV. I don't know it. Good, you guys are doing a good job. Just make sure that uh, you press this right down in there deep, get the bottom right in there, and then uh, press it down. That's it, and then a good uh, stamp on both sides with your foot. There you go, super job. Okay guys, let me just take a look to see how you're doing here. Looks like you've done a really good job. You've uh, made your L cut very nice and the tree, tree might be just a little deep. You want the paper to be just underneath. Can I ask your names? Sean. Sean? And Mikhail. Mikhail? Dan Roy. Dan? Have you guys uh, tree planted with Trees for Canada before? Yeah. Yeah? When? Uh, last year. Yeah? Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I see you uh, seem to have lost your uh, woggle here. Yeah. yeah. Are you getting warm out here now? Yeah. yeah. Are you having fun? Yeah. 
Good. Well, I don't want to slow down production here, guys. Go ahead. This and if you turn it, the shovel sideways itself. Oh, there's a stick there. That's right. Go ahead, right into there. Put one right on the edge here. As long as you get the paper underneath. Oh, yeah. right. Down and then. And make sure you put a step on each side, eh? Right here. Right yeah. there. Okay. Oop. Well, there you go. Measure away. Right. We're going into that. Great. Before you guys start this one, can I just ask you a couple of questions? Okay. okay what's your name? Sean. Greg. Sean? Yeah. I think we've had lots of Seans today. How about you? Come on over here. What's your name? Nicholas Winery. Yeah. Have you done this before, Nicholas? Yes. Yeah. Are you having fun? Yeah. Think you're going to be planting lots of trees today? Mm, I guess so. Yeah. How about you? How many trees have you planted so far? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Five? Ten? Well, I don't know. Okay, well keep up the good job. Go ahead and plant away there and I'll help you out if I can. Oh yeah, this one's good. That's okay, it'll be all right. Just pull it up a little bit more. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, there you go. Step and step. Super job, guys, super job. Trees for Canada is the lunch that the different groups provide each year. Uh, this year we're having hot dogs and uh, cold drinks. Uh, sometimes we even have hot chocolate and uh, depending on the year, depending on the weather. This year we have such a gorgeous day that uh, the boys need uh, something cold to drink so they have juice. Another thing that we do uh, every year or at least have for the last few years is uh, get a group shot. This is really useful to us later when we can uh, do displays with them and we can also t count the number of people that were involved and when we look at the different uh, pictures and looking at this group now you can see that there's quite a few people involved in the successful completion of Trees for Canada. Well, Trees for Canada has been another great success this year and I'm just looking at the quality of the trees here this right now and uh, these trees look like they've been planted really good. I'm really pleased that the scouts have done another good job this year. I'm just going to look at some more trees and then that's it for me for the day. Thanks for watching.